Hi all, in this video I will give a brief description about uh, SharePoint and uh, you can contact me on SharePoint leader at outlook.com anytime if you have doubts on SharePoint. So let's start. Uh, SharePoint is number one collaboration platform which is developed by Microsoft in companies many like uh, fortune 500 companies are using sharepoint for their intranets it's working like a bridge between management and the employees coming to the sharepoint history it's developed by microsoft in 2001 as a portal server which is on premises only you can install and uh, keep in in your company premises only it became famous in 2010 version and it became more famous in 2013 where the developers can use client-side technologies at the present version is 2019 which is in preview and uh, the most famous version from the last three years is sharepoint online which is a cloud service and from anywhere we can use this sharepoint and which is managed by the Microsoft SharePoint Online. It's a cloud service. And the main uh, features of SharePoint are core collaboration will be there and the content management, cloud and enterprise social, cloud inspired experiences will be good here. And when you come to environment, um, there are actually I told like SharePoint on premises and SharePoint Online. On premises means the company must bear all the expenses regarding hardware and requirement and software requirements here in SharePoint online just we need to take the subscription from Microsoft and it will maintain everything for us like administration and uh, security maintenance of servers so it is better if we go for SharePoint online if you want to develop a good internet for your company and coming to this SharePoint online which is cloud-based service provider Microsoft and the URL will be like httpsportal.office.com uh, if you go and uh, sign up with the developer account you can practice SharePoint online and if you want to create a subscription the same uh, URL httpsportal.office.com and there will be so many like plans like office uh, e3 business and uh, office business essentials many plans will be there you just go and select one plan and start your internet and uh, most importantly sharepoint online is a part of office 365 suit and coming to the differences between on premises and online you can see uh, there will be cost uh, related to the on premises more uh, compared to the online so it's i recommend just if you want to uh, going to develop a sharepoint internet for your company just go with sharepoint online and coming to the main features of the SharePoint Online access, you can access from anywhere. It's a cloud-based service and less uh, collaboration. And the SharePoint landing page will be there for every sub-site or site collection. And intelligence and insights are provided by uh, Microsoft there. Security and compliance will be there. Share. And the licensing will be there. As I told, Office 65 Business Essentials, Office 65 E3, E2 all these are uh, plans for the microsoft sharepoint online um, the structure of sharepoint online uh, is or sharepoint is like it will have a root site which is known as uh, site collection and under site collection there will be sub sites and sub sites contains lists uh, web parts document libraries pages and many things and if you can take the site collection sites there will be top level talent in the from the tenant we will create the site collections in the site collections we will create the sub sites and uh, there will be two types of uh, important uh, sites in sharepoint one is team site and communication site team site is for the people of the team like uh, 10 to 20 people and communication is site for the whole company like if they are more than uh, 2000 like 5000 people it will act like a bridge between the management and the uh, employees where the employee can find information about the company like company uh, like employee handbook or if you if you want to see any events updates everything will be updated by the management company management uh, 
mostly in companies there will be a communication team which will communicate with all the employees by updating the pages in the SharePoint and these are the modern pages which are introduced in the SharePoint with mobile compatibility and uh, as a customization we can change many things in the SharePoint out of the box no need to write code in this we can modify home page create new pages uh, create logos and change the logos here and site collection also we can change create everything we can do navigation and uh, we can create alerts on lists if anybody is adding an item into the list we will get an alert like that and uh, coming to the list list is like a database table where we will insert data into and uh, maintain data uh, it is it will be having a site content section where we can see many out of the box uh, lists and libraries where we will save data and work on the data here and the customization where we can save our uh, CSS files uh, JS files many things we can do in the site contents and uh, if anybody wants to learn SharePoint and wants to practice they must sign up with the office 65 developer program and uh, for uh, nowadays they are giving for 90 days uh, previously they used to give for one year and uh, for every 90 days you need to it will be automatically renewed uh, if you are doing something working on the site here go and uh, sign up with the uh, office issue developer program and practice this SharePoint and uh, let's come we can see job opportunities for SharePoint there are plenty of job opportunities for SharePoint because it is connected to office 65 you can apply for jobs as SharePoint administrator or SharePoint developer or SharePoint engineer or SharePoint site owner. Nowadays, there since it is using by many 500 Fortune companies, SharePoint is a famous internet collaborative tool. So it's better to learn it very well, and you can land up in a good job.